Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi, my name's Sue from 1AAuto.com, and today we're going to be putting a mass airflow sensor in, a 27 Mazda 6 sedan, 2.3 liter. To start, we're going to open the hood, and that's the lever mounted on the driver's side knee panel that has a picture of the hood. Pull on the cable, and then go out and release the safety latch. So now I'm going to release the hood safety latch that's mounted right above the symbol of the car, and bring it over to the driver's side. Lift up the hood. The hood prop rod is right here in the front. It goes right into the slot that's marked with an arrow. So to replace the mass airflow sensor, we're going to disconnect the sensor itself first from the harness. That's a push tab. Push down on it. Squeeze it out. I like to make sure there's no burnt connectors. That can cause a code or a running condition also. Now we have two mounting screws. They're just Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to dismount them. You just give it a firm twist and lift up. There's an O-ring right here that keeps it nice and sealed. Here we have a mass airflow sensor from 1AAuto.com. And the factory sensor I just took out of my Mazda 6, 2007. They look like they're from the same manufacturer. So now we have our new mass airflow sensor. It has a new O-ring. As you can see, it's not crushed like the other one was. So I'm just going to place that right in here. I wouldn't put any silicone or lubricant on this because on a mass airflow sensor, that is part of the reader right there. That's the air temp sensor on it. And the mass airflow sensor reader is inside. They pick up on dirt or oil and it throws the sensor off, the reading. So a nice dry seal is fine because it's plastic, it's not metal. So I'm just gonna mount it down. It's, it, you cannot mount it the wrong way, as you can see. If I went like this, the holes don't line up. It's nice and easy, self-explanatory. Press down, I felt it move right in. Now I'm going to remount it with the two Phillips head screws. I'm not going to snug that down tight yet until both are in. Now I'm going to reinstall the connector. Make sure that that orange seal is still in there. That's the moisture barrier, water seal. And I'm just gonna line it right up, click it on. There you go. Now you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.